and they're off for the Johnny Henderson Grand Annual. 24 of them break the line with on the inside Velvet Maker right up there. Germany Calling is also in there together with Croco Bay as they cross over the first. A bad mistake by Dandridge and the one who has gone at the first is Sizing Cadelco. Sizing Cadelco and seat of the rider at the first. Over the second and it's last year's winner, Next Sensation, who led them over it. Very slow at the back of the field, detached with the St. James as they race on now to the course proper and on towards fence number three. Velvet Maker on the inside of Next Sensation, the first two. And then back in third position, races Pearl's Legend. And then a red spinner was over in fourth. Croco Bay was over in fifth and all are safely over. Towards their outside is Arthur's Oak and then the white colours on the inside of Rock the World. A little bit wider to these as they jump the next is Solar Impulse. All the leaders are safely over that. Rather slow over that was Raven's Tower. So they have a circuit to go in the Johnny Henderson Grand Annual and the leader out into the country is Velvet Maker. Velvet Maker leads the way to Next Sensation in second. Red Spinner is in third. Pearl's Legend on the inside in fourth. Arthur's Oak is in fifth. Crocker Bay on the inside in sixth. Workbench in seventh. Solar Impulse is in eighth. Towards the inside in ninth is Rock the World. He's then being followed by Dresden and Dunraven Storm. Towards the outside, Bright New Dawn. Then towards the inside is East Lake as they cross over the first one down the back. Pushed away from that fence with Surf and Turf alongside Raven's Tower. Then Lock Kent, who's no better than midfield, racing alongside Cervello, the winner two years ago. Germany calling his next as they go over the water jump and Croco Bay is down and East Lake was very badly hampered and Crispy Green was also badly hampered but it was East Lake uh, who got uh, the one really badly hampered there. They go over the open ditch and it was Velvet Maker who led. Next sensation in second. Red Spinner is in third. Pearl's Legend is in fourth and Solar Impulse in fifth and then Bright New Dawn is going quite wide and Ravenstorm got in a little tight there. Dandridge made a mistake at that fence as now they take the dog leg turn going on towards the final open ditch. Velvet Maker on the inside. He leads by three parts of a length to next sensation as they cross over the ditch. Red Spinner was over in third place. East Lake hit that. Crispy Green has made a very bad mistake at that fence as they race now on towards the end of the back straight. Crispy Green is still in the contest. It was a great recovery as they go over the next and it was next sensation who had the lead. Dresden was very slow over that. Bright New Dawn is rapidly losing ground. He's lost his position as they now begin to make the turn on towards a fourth from home. Velvet Maker, next sensation, Red Spinner the first three, followed by Pills Legend in fourth, then Workbench, and a bad mistake there by Arthur's Oak and a very good sit, beginning to tail off his surf and turf. Germany Calling is struggling badly, looks as though another one struggling very badly is Guard 4 as they make the run down the hill. Velvet Maker, next sensation, Red Spinner, and Pills Legend the first four. Now the mauve colour Cervello making ground on the wide outside. Lock Kent tries to get into it. Bold Henry was the faller, but he was well held at the time. They're about to make the turn. They've got two more to take in the grand annual, and it is Red Spinner and David Bass who come to take the lead. Over on the far side, Velvet Maker in second, Cervello in third. Pearl's Legend is now in fourth position. Then towards the outside, Solar Impulse is staying on. Switch very wide is Rock the World. Then towards the inside, East Lake, Work Bench trying to stray on. So to his Dandridge as they got over the second last. It was Red Spinner who just had the lead over Silver Impulse towards the near side. Then Cervello towards the near side is Rock the World. Dandridge continues to stay on. Solar Impulse jumped the lead at the last by two lengths. Dandridge staying on now back in second. They've got another half furlong to go. Solar Impulse, the lead is down to a length and a half. But it will be Solar Impulse who takes the Grand Annual. Dandridge was back in second, back in third place came Rock the World, followed by Cervello, Pearl's Legend, Dresden, Red Spinner and Workbench.